Welcome back. Uh, this next thing um, is probably one of the most underrated um, things out there in terms of uh, marketing for a business. Now, I know that I said this little mini series wouldn't be about marketing. Um, however, uh, this is still quite important. It's not really a marketing thing. This is actually also um, around getting um, case studies, testimonials and reviews. So this is like a super important part of social proof. And if anybody ever kind of questions your authority um, or your ability to deliver, well, you can always point them across to what I'm about to show you because um, it's a really nice, quick and easy way of building up social proof for your business. And it's relevant to absolutely any business. I don't care what industry you're in, how big or small your business in. What I'm about to show you is probably um, one of the most, uh, uh, probably underrated, but um, most used tools um, out there. So I'm gonna flick across onto my other screen in a second and show you what I'm talking about. But um, basically what I'm alluding to is something called Google My Business or Google Places. Um, it's um, the first thing that um, when somebody types in a local search and you see the little map pop up and I'm going to show you in a second with some um, like the, what we call the big three underneath it, uh, underneath the map um, and you'll see why it's so important as I go through this. So if I were just to type in business coach Stroud for example, what you'll see um, for me, it's obviously on the right hand side here because I've got my um, Google My Business listing absolutely nailed. Uh, so you'll see that it's got Robin White, business coach, author, speaker. It's got a picture of where my old office, uh, or my, my, I've still got the office, but where my old office used to be. Uh, opening hours, telephone numbers, ability to book, and obviously further down you'll see, or just here, 76 Google reviews. Um, and various other things. So the other thing which um, obviously because I'm probably the highest, most highest profile um, uh, business coach in Stroud, so that's probably not a really fair representation. Let's just open it up to Gloucestershire and see what happens. Uh, if my internet's going to work. That would be a disaster, wouldn't it, if I was doing a live video and then my internet didn't work. Here we go. So this is what I really wanted to show you. So obviously um, it, it picked me up because I was obviously the high, most highest profile um, person in Australia. I'm also logged in as myself, so this is a little bit biased. Um, but what you'll see underneath here um, is, first of all, this map here, and then what we call the big three, and a link through to more places. Now, as you've noticed, um, there are some other coaches in here, um, but uh, because I've got 76 reviews, um, I'm kind of fairly fairly high profile up there. And then obviously I've got my um, organic website and then the organic listings down here. But you can see how much real estate Google My Business um, shows you uh, on, you know, on, on the actual search results. So somebody's doing what we call a local search. If they're looking for a, a service or a product locally, um, uh, you know, for a specific geographical location, um, then uh, we want to make sure that your business is found in um, in this uh, this area here, this Google My Business listing. Um, and obviously, what you can do is you can dig into the maps a little bit more. You can see all of um, all of what your competition are doing. And actually, uh, so Jackie's got six. Uh, Pullum and so oh, this is a bus service. <laughs> That's quite funny. They got thirty five reviews there, unsurprisingly. Um, but yeah, the, my, my uh, there we go. So my my. Competition with the most number of reviews has got nine, and that's a life coach that's so not really in, in my space. So, um, so you can see that obviously I'm I'm doing all right so far as Google My Business is um, is a concern. So, what what do we have to do in order to um, to optimize your Google My Business um, listing? So, uh, whoops, we need to get back to the the, the normal search. <clears throat> So if you just go to um, Google, just click on the first link that pops up there and um, it should hopefully, uh, here we go. So I'm just going to, I'm going to hit manage now. Normally, normally you'd have to, um, uh, I'm already signed in anyway, so it will automatically go through. So you've got all of these different options here. Now, one of the cool things is that... Um, uh, I, I don't have it because I'm up to 100%, but what you will see probably is a little dial on this right-hand side over here, round about where my mouse is, that will show you how much of your profile has um, been completed. And ideally what you want to do is to get your profile up to 100% complete. Um, one of the um, first things that, um, if you know that your um, there are specific keywords which you're going to get found for more often than not, don't just be tempted just to pop your business name in there because it might not contain the right keywords. Do also put in some different um, keywords as well. So in terms of um, 
Now I've obviously got business coach here because I want to be found for business coach locally. Make sure that you do put your address in there. Um, make sure that all of your other information is up to date. So if I go into um, info, we'll see all of the various different bits of information. So the info page is the bit which you want to kind of really make sure that it's got 100% of the stuff in there. So make sure that you've got um, your location, specific service areas in there. So it might be that if you just serve Gloucestershire, um, uh, Gloucestershire or Stroud or Gloucester or like sp very specific locations you can put them in service areas and leave your um, address um, out. Make sure that you do put your opening hours in there. I mean I've just left it like 9 to 5 Monday to Friday which is fairly typical but I don't have necessarily a physical office. You've got space to put a telephone number in there. You've got a space to put what we call a shortened um, URL in there now which is quite a new thing. Um, what else have we got? Um, now, I could add in specific services, and I should do that at some point. But then, obviously, one of the most important things is you want to make sure that you put in a um, description about what you do. Also, uh, the first thing that you want to do when you've got your um, uh, Google My Business listing uh, page up, and you've got it 100%, you know, uh, all of the date, the, the information, like, up to 100%, is you want to get 10 reviews as quickly as you possibly can. Um, I, I don't know why it's why why ten. I made that number up, but ten is a nice round number, and it's a nice specific goal to aim for. But basically, you want to make sure that you get ten reviews as quickly as possible. And when people do leave reviews, do make sure that you go in and reply to them, because obviously all of these things just help with Google's algorithm, um, and it shows that you're Google, you're active on your Google My Business listing, and it will put you up to the top. Now, a little stat for you: um, it used to be way back when when I was building websites um, for clients um, that. Uh, you would uh, a website was unique and what would happen is about 90% of the traffic would go through Google's organic search before it would end up on your website. Now something ridiculous like 60, 70, 80% of traffic goes through Google My Business but before it goes to any other media. So actually websites are really not that, um, I, I guess not that important um, or as important as they were a while ago. Not to suggest that they're not important, but actually what it tells me is that you're much better off, especially if you're a local business, getting Google My Business um, set up ASAP and get some reviews on there. Um, the other cool thing which you can do is, um, and I'm going to show you a tool a bit later on called Zapier um, because I've all, I automate this, but um, you can now put posts up on your Google My Business listing. So again, this is a Google tool. Um, it's free to use. You know, I haven't got many views on there, but then probably the quality of the content is not great. But I put videos, podcasts, and all sorts of fun stuff up there um, just so I've got a regular amount of content. Like just I'm, I'm telling Google I'm updating this fairly regularly. Um, I could probably do a little bit of work in there just to kind of... Um, maybe make some of this content a bit better. Um, that's going to take time or um, I get my VA to do it. But um, for now, I, I've got some content up there, which is better than nothing. Um, the other thing which you want to do as well is quite often um, when when Google chooses, uh, let's see, does it have, not on this page, but when Google chooses um, your picture, so if we just go to here, and we'll go back again one more. So you've got these pictures here. So Google will pick, um, and like if you've got your home address, it'll actually put your home address up as this Google Street View picture, which isn't necessarily great because um, you might not a might not want people to know where you live or see where you live. Um, the second thing, really, though, is that you can upload your own photos into here. So I've just put one of me speaking, just adds to my kind of credibility. So um, I probably could, I've probably got my lo my logo up there and various other things like that as well. Me holding books, so you can see all of these are like really highly curated. Um, uh, images and video photos and videos um, so that if somebody does come in and kind of have a quick look around like what I've been getting up to they can see that there is a certain amount of authority and credibility in here um, so yeah so I guess my um, my challenge for you is to go and um, make sure you're going uh, 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 get your Google my business listing set up uh, verify it they have two, two or three different ways of verifying it so one is they send you out a postcard to your registered address uh, it takes a couple of weeks. It's a bit clunky. It doesn't always work. You can also do it by telephone nowadays, um, or you can find a, 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 um, a Google My Business accredited expert who can actually um, take care of that verification process for you. Like I said, then the next thing is to make sure your profile has 100% um, in terms of the date, the information completed in it. And the third thing is to then go out and get as many reviews as you possibly can, at least 10 in a short time frame as possible, just to show Google that you're um, 
um, you're you're a credible um, business owner. One of the easiest ways to get reviews. Um, so if you go to um, Google Review URL Generator, um, and then I think I used White Spark last time, so we'll just check that. So basically, um, if you just send somebody to your Google My Business page, they've got to hunt around for like the button to click and leave a review, which isn't terribly helpful. So actually, what you want is so that when somebody clicks on the link to leave a review, it automatically goes to the Google My Business page and pops up with the review link. So I'll just type in Robin Waite in here into White Spark, and there you see it's automatically given me a link. So I'm just going to copy that and then share it into here and you'll see what what should happen here you go and it will pop up there we go with the um, with the actual review link we could up, get people to upload a photo there as well um, and that's just a really great way a really simple way because it means that it just takes the effort out if you're trying to get reviews it takes the effort out of it for people to actually um, go and leave reviews they literally click on a link goes to your Google My Business listing pops up with the, the review link and all they've got to do then is type in a review into here um, so just to um, so that was uh, whitespark.ca and I'll, maybe I'll try and cut and paste the link somewhere for this into the, the notes but whitespark.ca forward slash google hyphen review hyphen link hyphen generator or you can just go to um, in, in the google search google url google review url generator and you'll, it will pop up with this um, what I would also recommend you do because I don't know if you spotted but that link is quite long so you may actually choose to go to um, bit.ly which is a what we call a URL shortener and and then uh, so here we go create paste a long URL and create and then it'll automatically create this really short URL for you uh, which is quite handy and in my case I could do Google review link and save that hit share so what you could then do is you could actually um, find a way of automatically maybe using something like text magic and if you in the previous video I talked about um, setting up Acuity, Calendly or something like that. So you could actually send out via text message this link, this link to people saying, hey, hope you enjoyed your visit uh, or enjoyed the meeting. Please click here to leave a review and then you type in that review link and it's not a nice short URL which would take them straight through to that um, uh, that page um, to uh, that pop up to leave a review. So there you go. So I would be all over Google My Business um, and make sure that you are getting um, at least 10 reviews for your business using the tips and tools which I've just shown you and um, and you will be well away. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I'm going to be producing uh, more videos in this little series of the 10 things that every business needs. So um, do check out the links in the notes. And to see the other videos, obviously the previous video I did was around um, automatic uh, diary booking so that you don't have to faff around with your diary. These are going to be 10, um, at least 10 productivity hacks that are going to save you time and hopefully make your customer journey a little bit easier and uh, make your business more productive. So um, I would recommend you do do all 10 things that I'm going to show you because um, they're just basic fundamental things I believe every business needs um, in this day and age. It's a complicated world of internet marketing. Um, and these aren't even really marketing tips, they're just things that are going to make your life that little bit easier. Um, with this Google My Business thing, so um, I helped a client out, I spent half an hour during one of his coaching sessions um, helping him to optimise his Google My Business listing. He uh, did life insurance and within a week of us updating his Google My Business listing and getting him up to 100% and getting him 10 reviews, um, he, he got a new prospect who had searched for Life Insurance Bristol. Um, and that, that prospect went through the process and he created a £2,500 commission within the space of, I think it was eight days, um, which is pretty cool, basically because it cost him nothing, uh, bar just a bit of our time just optimising his Google My Business listing. So super important, do go and do it. Um, and if you've got any questions, you know where to find me. Uh, email me, robin at robinwaite.com or jump onto fearless.biz or go into the Coaching Consultant Handbook Facebook group and ask me there. Ta-ta for now.